Sometimes the best trades aren't about the perfect entry, it's just about being in the right direction. And if you get yourself too anchored to getting the perfect price or the best entry, then the reality is you're gonna miss out on a lot of trades if you're super concerned with buying the low and selling at the absolute top. But how are you supposed to not get anchored to that open price? In this case, Rivian, another I want the short, I wanted to short it back off this level at 925. I missed the original trade, it breaks down. What can you do at that point? After the opening range settles down at 10 o'clock, it pops, shows resistance at 880 at 10 o'clock, short it to the 1080 level, and then hold as it breaks down into the low. This short isn't to here. It's to that opening range. I call it the first 30 minutes, some people look at 45 minutes. I love that first half an hour, go back at 10 o'clock, and when you start finding resistance or support at those prices, or at those times, then I wanna take those trades. The most important thing about entering after a big move is you do not want to hold all the way back. And I'm gonna show you exactly why you can't be holding all the way back to the original level. This is NVIDIA at 10 o'clock. What does this look like at 10? It was a breakout into Friday and Thursday's highs right at 10 o'clock. Its range was $25 up. Now, if you were going to sit there and say, okay, I'm looking for longs after 10 o'clock, it's breaking out into those highs, let's just go with a long somewhere back into like 895, but I'm just gonna give it all the way back into the low Instead of having a tight stop, this is an example where you have to adjust. You might have liked the previous close in the morning for a dip buy, that was great. But when you're buying it off the 10 o'clock level, you don't want to be holding it all the way back. It's just too much risk. At that point, you should be okay with taking that long. If it stops out tight under here, fair enough. Because if you got stubborn with it, that 10, 10 o'clock range price ends up turning right back into resistance. So an example of one that doesn't work here on NVIDIA, now the breakout at that price was good, but one that doesn't work on the dip when you follow the trend to the upside, it's not a big deal. If you hold the VWAP and it loses, it's a small loss relatively speaking and maybe you can work your way into the reversal. I'm like everybody else. I will say, well, I love this price. I'm waiting for that price. Oh, I missed it. It didn't get to my price. But if you're willing after that first half an hour to step up and find another way to join that trend, then there are a lot of gains out there for you. So you know you're going to miss trades. You're not always gonna get that perfect execution at 9.30. The question that I'm asking you is, what are you gonna do after that? Are you just gonna sit on your hands when you knew the stock was a short or you knew it was a long and you watch it trend all day? Just because you didn't get the price you wanted, you're not gonna trade it? You can't trade like that. So the lesson of the day here is be willing to join that trend, buy high, sell higher, or sell low and buy back even lower. If that's not in your repertoire, then you'll never be a trend trader. So I love the trend, stick to it, it is your friend. As always, lesson of the day brought to you by Real Trading. Buy high, sell higher.